Hi, welcome to the Mathematics for Economics 3 course. This course is offered for the third semester students of BA Economics in the University of Kerala. We will be discussing Module 2 series. So before going to series, first we shall see what a sequence is. Now consider the number patterns. The first one is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, etc. Now can you tell me what the next term of this pattern is? Starting with 2, you have 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, etc. Do you find anything? Did you get the technique to find the next term? Okay, we'll look at it in detail. The first term is 2 then 5, then 8, then 11, then 14, then 17 and so on. So if you look at this, you can see that from 2, when you add 3, you will get 5. Again, when you add 3, you will get 8. Again, when you add 3, you will get 11. Again, when you add 3, you will get 14. Again, when you add 3 you will get 17 so on so what will be the next term here the next term here will be 17 plus 3 which is 20 again the next term will be 20 plus 3 23 again the next term will be 23 plus 3 26 and this will continue like this now look at a next number pattern So here you are given 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. Now if you closely look at the terms here, you can say first one is 1, then you have 2, then you have 4, then you have 8, then you have 16, then you have 32 and so on. So when you closely look at these terms, first one is 1. The next term is the double of the first term. That means double of 1 is 2. Then again double of 2, 4. Then again double of 4, 8. Then again double of 8, 16. Again double of 16, 32. Double means actually to find the double you are multiplying with 2. Okay. You will be multiplying this number with 2 to get the next number. So first you have 1, then you multiply with 2, you will get 2. Again you have 2, you multiply with 2, you will get 4. Again you have 4, you multiply with 2, you will get 8. Again you have 8, you multiply with 2, you will get 16. Again you have 16, you multiply with 2, you will get uh, 32 and so on. So similarly the next term will be 32 multiply with 2, you will get 64. Then again multiply 64 multiplied with 2 you will get uh, 128 again 128 multiplied with 2 you will get 256 and so on. Now we shall look at one more pattern here. So here the numbers given in the pattern are first number is 1 by 3, second one 1 by 5, third one you have 1 by 7, fourth one you have 1 by 9, again you have 1 by 11 and so on. So if you look at the numbers here, first one is 1 by 3, then 1 by 5, then 1 by 7, then 1 by 9, then 1 by 11 etc. So here if you look at the numerator of all these numbers, it is 1. What changes is the number in the denominator. So first is 3, then 5, then 7, then 9, then 11. If you closely look at 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, next will be 13 because you are adding 2 in the denominator. So 3 plus 2 you will get 5, plus 2 you will get 7, plus 2 you will get 9, plus 2 you will get 11, so on. 
and the next term will be 1 by 13 the next term will be 1 by 15 the next term will be 1 by 17 and this will continue like this so if you look at these patterns all these number patterns you can see that if you have a closer look at these patterns it is easy to predict what the next term will be so such pattern where it is easy to predict what the next term is are called sequences now i'll give you another example if you look at this Starting with 5, then 6, then 17, then 19, then 28, then 52, etc. So if you look at this, there is no relation between the first term and the second term, second term and the third term, third term and the fourth term. You cannot find a common relation which will lead you to the next term. So this number pattern, we cannot say that this is a sequence but because it is not possible to predict what the next term is depending on the previous terms so this is not at all like the previous three patterns which we have seen so this is an example of which is not a sequence and the first three are examples of a sequence so sequence is a number pattern where we can predict what the next term is now coming back to the first uh, sequence here you started with 2 and you added 3 to get the next term again added 3 to get the next term so you are consecutively adding 3 to get the next 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 terms so such sequences where you start with any number and keep on adding a fixed number to it to get the consecutive terms of the sequence for example if i start with one and i keep on adding four to it so i'll get the sequence one the first term second term will be one plus four which is uh, five third term is five plus four which is nine fourth term is nine plus four which is thirteen thirteen plus four is seventeen 17 plus 4 21 etc so just to remind you we started with any number and we are adding a fixed number to it consecutively to get the next terms so such a sequence so formed is called a arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression you might have studied this in your school in class 10 so this is called a arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence so arithmetic sequence is a sequence where you start with any number and keep on adding a fixed number to it now we will look at the second pattern here we started with 1 again multiply 2 to get 2 again multiply with 4 uh, 2 to get 4 and so on so such sequence where you start with any number and multiply a fixed number to it to get the next consecutive terms is called a geometric sequence or a geometric progression i'll give you another another example we will start with five and keep on multiplying three to it so the first number will be 5. The second number will be 5 multiply 3 which is 15. Again multiply 3 which is 45. Again multiply 3. So 45 into 3 135. Again multiply 3. You will get uh, 405. Again multiply 3. So you will get uh, 1215 and so on so this is an example of a geometric sequence a geometric sequence or geometric progression means you start with any number and multiply a fixed number to it 
will give you another example. We will start with uh, 8 and we will keep on multiplying 1 by 2, half with it. So first term is 8, second term will be 8 into 1 by 2. So 8 into 1 by 2 means you can delete this 2 and 8 to get 4. So you will get the answer as 4 multiply 1 which is 4. Then to net get the next term you have to multiply this 4 with half. So here 2 and 4 will cancel to give you 2. So the answer will be 2 into 1 which is 2. So the next term is 2. Again the next term you have to multiply with 1 by 2 again. So 2 and 2 will cancel to give you 1. So the next term is 1. Again if you multiply with 1 by 2 there is nothing to cancel so 1 into 1 is 1 and uh, in the denominator you have 2 so you will get 1 by 2. Now the next term you have to multiply 1 by 2 with 1 by 2 so 1 into 1 is uh, 1 and 2 into 2 is 4 so the next term is 1 by 4. Now to find the next term you have to again multiply with 1 by 2. So in the numerator you have 1 into 1 which is 1 by in the denominator you have 4 into 2 which is 8. So 1 by 8 and so on. So this is another example of a geometric sequence. So a geometric sequence is a sequence where we start with a number and multiply a fixed number to it to get the next consecutive terms. So just to remind you, the first one was an arithmetic sequence, second one was a geometric sequence. So in an arithmetic sequence started with any number, kept on adding a fixed number to it to get the next consecutive terms. And geometric sequence is a sequence where we start with a number and keep on multiplying a fixed number to it. So in an arithmetic sequence, you are consecutively adding a fixed number and in a geometric sequence, you are consecutively multiplying a fixed number. So these two are the most important type of sequences which we will be seeing, arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence there are much more main, much more to come the third one it is called a harmonic sequence we don't have to deal with it so i am not discussing about this